Where do I get those cool textured collage papers I use in my paintings? Why, I make them, of course. I use a jelly plate, a brayer, a catalyst wedge, some interesting circle shapes, and two colors of paint. Oh, and this 41 pound sketch paper as well. I like keeping it simple color-wise when I'm making collage papers. I've squirted out a little bit of Liquitex Payne's Gray onto my plate, smoothed it out with a brayer, not really worrying about whether there's lines or not, taking a catalyst wedge and carving some shapes and lines into the wet paint and then laying those small three by four inch pages down all over the surface to cover it. I put a piece of wax paper over the top and smooth it with my hands just to make sure the paint gets distributed equally and then pull them off one at a time to reveal some really interesting and unpredictable effects. You'll notice that there's some of that Payne's Gray left on the jelly plate. I really don't worry about that. I just add some more paint, titanium white, roll it out and let it mix right on the jelly plate and start playing around with different shapes. This is just a lid from an old jar of paint. Once again, I'm laying those pages out. The pages that had half prints on them last time, I turned around on the edges. And so now I've got the black or the Payne's Gray and the white superimposed, as well as picking up those lines from the first layer. I'm gonna go back in with both colors this time just to see what happens. I wanted a little bit deeper shade of blue-gray and carved some lines and some grid marks into it. The paint's quite thick this time around, which is okay, I don't mind that. It just takes a little longer for the prints to dry and it leaves a lot of paint on the plate for me to pull a second set of prints from, which is what I'm doing now. Second set is often more interesting than the first. Notice how there's almost a ghost impression of those vertical lines. One more time with white to get a lighter gray and to see what kind of ghost impressions of those circles I might get. This is probably the most interesting set of papers from the day. Last little bit of gray off the brayer. I didn't add any more paint, I just wanted to use it up. No idea what this one's going to look like but it's kind of nice to get some different valued pieces. There we go, super light. And finishing off with just a bit of white and some circles because I had two pieces of paper left to play with. And here's what I ended up producing for about 20 minutes of work and a little bit of paint and lots of texture and contrast in value to add to my current work on paper. Do you use a jelly plate? I'd love to hear in the comments. Here's some of my favorite pieces. If this video inspired you to create something of your own, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're here. Thanks.